All right, we are uh, back. Ghost of Tsushima, new game plus part 32. Last time, we just basically f we uh, saw that the Khan's army is about to head towards the mainland. Uh, gave a message to our uncle and finished up all of the uh, Mongol strongholds that we can do. Besides that, we're going to get right into it. I believe this is the last mission, or the last upcoming ones. Uh, yeah, it says kill the Khan, stop the Mongol invasion. So we're going to get right into it. Like, comment, subscribe, notifications, all that stuff. And let's go. What took you so long? Shut up. I do everything. You had us worried. I thought you'd been caught. Delivering my message wasn't easy. Did your uncle read it? Will he help us defeat the Khan? I hope so. Do so you not have blue eyes? I don't think I ever remember. We can't noticed. wait to find out. Wind's getting stronger. The storm will be here by morning. Do that. you secure the siege weapons? Enough to cause plenty of damage. Also found some deserters from your uncle. Deserters. Boy Norio lost his mind. This option will speak to. I'm good on speaking to them. At least if the Mongols do take Tsushima up. Jin. Masako, I wasn't sure you'd come. I said I'd be there when you needed me. But I need the Khan dead, too. He murdered my husband. Yeah. I wonder if you didn't finish her thing, would it be the same? Do I have to speak with them? Like, what's happened? It says optional. Sakai! Sakai! It's good to have your bow with us, Sensei. What more do they want? Here we are, my lord. Yeah, this seemed like the end. <laughs> You're in good spirits. I don't know what they want from me. Okay. I don't know why they called it optional if they're just making me do it, but alright. I know not, I just would have done it in the first place. Lord Sakai. Lord Sakai. It's good to have the head of Cedar Temple with us. And I would never claim such an honor for myself. I know. That's why you. Oh, that's bullshit. Could have just said, talk to your allies. I understand that Ishigawa, Sensei Ishigawa, considers his way of the bow very important and everything, but it seems like it'd be smart to teach everyone, all of the army, it, so they can all be that good at the bow, hopefully. But I also get not want to waste your time on people who aren't good enough for something. It's like trying to teach kindergartner back, I don't know, something, swimming. Michael Phelps, shut up. You've come a long way. Since you pulled me off Komodo Beach. Yeah, her brother was alive. You were so heavy I could barely drag you. Had to strip you half naked just to reach town. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be here without you, you know. I can't lose you, Jin. After everything we've been through. Everyone we've lost. I can't. I have to stop the con. No, you don't. 
could find a boat, sail somewhere quiet, while your uncle fights his samurai war. What? Do you really want that? I mean, he killed your brother. No. If I fall, promise me you'll keep fighting. You're a real bastard, Jin Sakai. You should get some rest. Not yet. Let's sit just a little longer. This is it. We have one chance to take down the Khan before he attacks our mainland. All right. Kenji, what's the status of our siege weapons? Ready to rain fire on the Mongol fleet. Good. You know we'll signal your attack. Once the volley begins, the Mongols will charge your position and run right into our ambush. The exp Jin, All right. There's no sign of your uncle. That storm's not waiting. And neither are we. Let's do it. This is the end. No. The Mongols are coming. We'll cut down anyone who gets through. Well, damn. This is for my son. Watch your back, Masako. Don't let him get behind. Take the fight to them! Forward! Oh, that boy tough. He took two full, full stabbing. Because every kill, because kills heal me, so that's why it always does that. Okay, I forgot. Give them a chance. Are those guys over there. Oh, the our guys. Our forces up the hill. Okay. Then we'll join him and press the attack. Look how I can see. I think I see him right there. Oh, you're all safe. This is where it ends. Today, the Khan dies. Lord Shimura isn't here. We fight alone. We'll lead an attack on the main gate. Distract the Mongols while you find a way inside. You'll be overwhelmed. We came this far. We're not turning back now. You are all the bravest warriors I've ever known. I hope to see you again. Leave the battle to us. What are we waiting for? No mercy for the Mongols! Fight! Yes. 
Wait, where do I go? I'm like so confused. Okay, it's down there. Now I see it. I straight forgot. Need to get to a rooftop. Look over the camp. Figure out how to find the car. Oh my god. Okay, that was clean. I'll give you that. Sometimes I just don't hit it right. Prison. Okay. Is that him? Can't be that. Okay, there he is. Looking clean. No mercy! He is the first one. I'll give him this. He, he, ain't, he ain't a bitch. He the first one in the door. Ready. He the first one. He's on the front lines. Nowadays, most leaders have to reach the manor house. aren't there. What? He has never taken two hits. Tired of those guys. The most annoying, they have a 14 foot shield that they just, they just have, just, just to use it. Just guys, alright, I'm ready for this. The big fight. All that armor this pussy boy got on. Drinking that nasty ass fermented milk. Like, it's not been refrigerated, he's just chilling with it out in the, out, out, out just out, out the titty. Oh my god. All this death. All this death. Because you and your uncle would not surrender. Surrender? Bro, this isn't your home. I offered you peace. And you chose war. Now, 
people of your mainland will suffer. You will never leave this island. Did he just pour that on himself, this weirdo? I'm pretty sure that cut on his face is from me, right? Like when we first we fight on when we first fought I will on the bridge. The people of Tsushima. Vengeance. The petty wish of a child. Never leave Tsushima. Come on, come on, I want it. Yep. 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 Come on. Get back. What? Okay. I defeated you before. You cheated. This will be no different. You sound afraid. Yeah, he almost got me a bit. I'll give him that because he cheats. Cheating ass. I need all the resolve I can get. This guy's actually an annoying fight. Too disrespectful. Oh my god.
What's up? It's over. Yup. Yup. He cut off his. Oh, I thought he cut off. Go ahead. Bring another. Kind of true. No one really remembers. I don't know if this guy exists, but it's really just Genghis Khan. That's remember. I don't remember a Koton Khan. Never heard of that guy. Boy, better jump. Khan is dead, but his army is still here. Our home won't be safe until we drive them out to sea. And when they're gone, what happens then? We start new lives. I used to know what my new life would be. Now I'm not even sure who I am. Bring hope to our people, fear to the Mongols. And be hunted by samurai. If anyone can change a samurai's mind, it's you. Keep fighting. We can't stay here long. My uncle will come looking for us. No, he won't. After the battle, he sent a messenger. Did he offer to make peace? He wants to meet you by the still waters under the red-leafed tree. Omi Lake. I used to spar there when I was a child. Want company? I need to face him alone. He's my only family. I know. It still hurts thinking about Taka. The smell of smoke in his hair. His quiet laugh. The hell he'd give me for drinking too much. My whole life, he was part of me. And, and now... I'm alone. You're not alone. You have me. A ghost. You belong to everyone. All right, we did it. Did it. Took it down. Killed Genghis Khan. Now just drinking it up.
the tale of Lord Shimura. There we go. Oh, sweet Jesus Christ. Uh, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen little things to do. None of them are anything crazy. They're all just going to be like foxes or oh dang they know he's dead who's even paying them okay guess I can just climb up real quick it's always weird when they let me do that. Let me just, like, fast travel. But dang, Khan's dead. Nice little fight. He was kind of tough, but at the end of the day, I have the ultimate weapon. My cheat outfit that lets me get three free hits. This is the cheat. I, I like it the best. I don't know if there's a video about it that says it's the best, but if anyone doesn't think it's the best, then they're, they're demented. Okay, so I'll start, I guess I'll head up here, well, I guess I might as well get that, then head over there. It's probably going to be a lot of foxes I have to fall off. Is that it? How did I not see that? Jesus Christ, why is this so elaborate? Like, come on, this is like pure hidden. Hopefully I can do all these and still have time to get to Lord Shimura. Pretty sure this one down here is another shrine. Maybe I'm wrong. I can't see for shit. I can't tell what that is. I got terrible eyesight, but okay. What are these dickheads? Who are who is even like Who's even giving them orders is my question. I guess it's not a shrine, I have no idea. Oh, it's probably a pillar of honor. You really had to hit me one time. What enemies? Is he talking about those guys all- Alright, you know what, fuck this guy. I'm gonna leave, cause this is- This is idiotic. I'm not about to go all the way over there just to kill them, come all the way over here. He can stay there. This is ridiculous. What is he thinking?
quick haiku. Okay, so fast travel there, get those two. Making sure real quick there's nothing crazy left. Why is it always during combat? There's no one there. Finally. See what I get. The final defense. A heart races at each sound. Looking to the end. Okay. Uh, first let me get my gift. Because, yeah, I, I, I do wonder, what is Lord Schumer going to do about Masako and everyone? Have like, you listened to any stories from Yozen? That blind storyteller? He always has a new story to tell. See, talking about the legend storyteller? The blind guy? I didn't know he was blind. Jesus. Oh. I swear. I don't understand sometimes what PlayStation be doing with their uh, their whole uh, bottle platform, whatever they you call it. I don't understand, because there's still no inf there's, I don't- There's no second Infamous, haven't heard nothing about this. I had heard at points they were gonna buy Ubisoft, make a new- what's it called? They were gonna make a new, um, Splinter Cell. But nothing. Is it? Oh, there it is. annoying it does it runs faster than me but not as fast as my horse but yeah playstation really just needs to get on it start making some games i really i really want to play another splinter shell game i like the first one really liked blacklist a lot in too many ways but and i'll never be able to play 
any of those again unless PlayStation. I don't know if you can play them on the PlayStation. I know Xbox had that backwards compatibility. They had that, which would let you uh, play all the old games again, which I used. I used that to play uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist and Conviction, but I don't know if you can do it on PlayStation, even with the. Uh, the um PlayStation store and all that always feels it always feels so weird after the game's over to just like keep going uh, it's something i don't love in any game where i guess i could have always looked for all this stuff but it just always feels wrong to like still be riding around Doing side stuff when the game's over. I swear to God, if that guy would have hit me, I would have been on that uh that AC Unity type stuff. Those those fucking guards, they uh they used to get me no matter what, no matter how hard I tried, I throw smoke bombs, zigzag jump up and down and nothing would stop those idiots uh, okay so after that there's that of course right past the mongols I always find it, I guess, I was gonna say I find it odd that, like, Mongolians or even, like, say, Germans never really get, say anything about if they're upset with, uh, the way they get portrayed in games and movies and stuff, but I guess there's nothing really to, uh, defend. There's plenty of war movies, but that's something else, maybe it's just because I live in America, I've never really seen a movie... Like, say, say a British movie that talks about how bad America is in the sense of they show the Revolutionary War from the British side and showing that, you know, these ungrateful people left because of this and that and took over and sadly enough won us, like, America winning uh, the Revolutionary War would be considered the, the, the bad ending. Only miss foxes? Like, Jesus. See, I could've... There, a hundred percent... Was a mission. Where... I help out a family that's sick... With something. And I don't know if they... Got rid of it. Or maybe it's not even an actual mission and it's just one of those little encounters, kind of like... Oh my god. I had just did, like, the, uh, catapult thing. Maybe it's something like that. That's all I can think of, because... If not, I don't... I don't know where it is. And I wonder how many of those little encounters I miss before. he have me going it's always this is like these I've heard that these are the le people's least favorite thing and rightfully so because these are ridiculously complicated like look at that it's just doing too much that I like went where even am I and it's still going like these drag on 
way too long. Like, I was all the way over here and all the way over here on top of some dumb mountain. It does not have to drag on for this. I guess I'll just fast travel here. I, I think that's something else that's making me upset with this place. Nothing is close to anything. Like, every single one of these I missed are because none of them are in a single close area. These idiots, instead of having the cover of the trees... Jesus. No tree cover, they instead decide to burn it all down. Smart. Now they're just sitting out in the open, in ash, as their camp. You gotta be the dumbest guys on this entire earth. Why me? Why is... Like, why does it even care? I am too far away to be bothered with. Oh wait, maybe this is it. Is this the mission? I guess not. All that for this idiot. I swear to God, I hate that guy. I hate him so much sometimes. Because I think I had, at one point had this game like guess I'll go there, there, and there. I had this game, like, downloaded or something online, basically. And, th for whatever reason, this guy wasn't loading in until way later. So he loads in out of nowhere when I'm, like, halfway through the game. And now I've got, like, 40 new things I gotta go run around and see. Because I don't know which one is him and which one is something else. So this is probably a pillar of honor. It seems like that... That's another annoying... Th Why does this bird never just lead me towards everything? Because I think in the thing it says it leads you towards something. Fucking st like things you want or need or something. But he seems to always just lead me to pillars of honor. Walk over here. The other horse was better. Oh, I've got all these Mongols out here that I don't even want to deal with because I want to go get all these things first. I think I see it. It's that tree. I think so. Another fox. Are there? I could not have missed that many. Okay, so the one that's what was there. And there for that. And then back there. Like, look at this. Every single thing is like spread out so far. Why do they do this? To make this place seem bigger? Something I did notice, I don't think I even lost a fight, really, in the game. As far as I can remember, I did not lose any fights. Oh, thank god. I was gonna be run right into the, those guys. You'd think Jen would have better luck with what's about to happen next. Get 
can't begin to understand how that and I'm just full of everything like I've, I've noticed there's less and less stuff I can even grab because I have everything else I keep getting hit on little invisible walls which is getting annoying Okay, good. A bath. I can deal with that. And then next is that. Quickly, no. Always weird that he just gets butt naked in the middle of a invasion. And the fact that no one's killed him like this, like this seems like the easiest way. The grass is right there. Father used to take us to Omi Lake with Lady Musako and her children. We played in the water, while Mother and Musako traded funny stories over tea. So simple back then. Now his mom's dead. Masako's kids are dead. It's tough. This man lost too many friends and family. <laughs> I had to blow it up. The red barrel. I've, I've seen... I don't even understand. I, from what I've seen, there's no real way to know what or who. Like, there are games... I'm trying to think. There's, there's, a, there's a Game Ranks video that I watched about the whole red barrel thing and why it happened. And I think it's just like one game did it and then another game did it and then it just became a thing. And it's as simple as that. And I don't even remember what the game was. If it was Half-Life or Mass Effect or something. But it's always crazy to think that every game has conditioned us to think a red barrel will blow up. Okay, so next is this. Uh, then, I can, then I can head forward. Ooh. That's a good shot. Everywhere I look, they're taking prisoners, burning homes, slaughtering our people. I wonder what the population was at the end of this. They broke our spine by killing the samurai. But they haven't won. Not yet. All because this animal. I've seen people, like, compare him to Joel. I, I, I've said it before, but it's just, like, crazy. Like, God. He did kind of, like, do 90% of the work to stop an entire invasion. I don't even know, it just might be easier just to go right here. It's so annoying. Everything is like so perfectly, annoyingly away from each other. Like nothing is close to anything I can fast travel to. Bitter Hills. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to climb on her. Sounds bad. What is this place? Why are they even here? Oh, there you go. 
Uh -huh. Oh, that's fine. Thank you for making their cons suffer. Also, everyone heard the big news. I wonder what the uh, Mongolian army is thinking at this moment. They just hear back like, uh, Kotan's dead? Jesus Christ. And they're just like, I don't know what to do now. He was our top guy. He was related to Genghis, remember? Where? What does that mean? Oh my god, there was a fox, okay. That is so stupid. How did I not- how did I come down that street, the exact street for it? And completely miss it. God, I hate these things. That's how it, it's it's stuff like that, which is just shows how simple it is to like walk right by it. Because I just I walked how did I even get over there? Where's the logic? Dang, I was probably like next to it too. Okay, then after that. Whatever this is, Jesus, just at the edge of the earth. Sago mill. These dogs of guys <laughs> sold all the women. Which, still, part of me gets it. Did it. So they wouldn't die. Still doesn't mean they're not bitch made. And even the women, it's kind of dumb that they, I mean, I, I get I get they don't want to go back, but for them to just, no, they only move like, tw like, 20 yards away. Like, it's not like, it's a whole new set of scenery and stuff. It, they're right there. They likely walk by it. Still, I'd, I'd still go back to the mill either way. I get it. I get it's a tough memory, but it's a useful mill. in that damn house. Oh, come on. Place. 
I don't I don't know what those blue birds mean. Hmm, out there somewhere in those woods is that random encounter. Ah. The last haiku. Should be it. Thought. I thought that this would be the last one. I'd hoped. Because the ghost armor die. Okay. But was not able to finish it all. Due to the fact that they had like 47,000 things for me to do. Apparently. Uh, so next time we will. Let me think actually. Should I? Because all that it is. Is Lord Shimmer. Oh uh, no. Let's keep going. Fuck it. This one's just gonna be a longer one for the end, because it's gonna be Lord Shimura, then my review, and then, yeah, that's really it. And then I'll end things off, and next time we will head to Iki Island. It's a nice spot, actually. I'll wait for him on the dock. When did I take off all my clothes? Jin. Uncle. I wasn't sure you would come. I wanted to talk with you. If we work together, we can drive off the remaining Mongols. Start rebuilding our home. That is not your duty. The Shogun has disbanded Clan Sakai. Ah, oh, damn. As of today, you are no longer Samurai. I sacrificed everything for my people. He gets to decide what's a clan or not? And I would do it again. You Samurai are coming to replace those we lost. They will occupy your land and estate. They're gonna take my home? I have to say goodbye to my home. This man gave it all up. Ride with me. Gave it all up for the win. There's a level of respect I can have for it. There's also a level of respect I can't have for it because it's not fair. <laughs> Wait, so I still have? Okay, it showed. It, sh it was showing my uh, what's it called, and so I was like, can I do that? Is this a kimono? Will you remain in Chito of Tsushima? Yes. Shogun asked me to train his warriors to fight the Mongols. Good. They won't give up until they've conquered all of Japan. I will spend what years I have left ensuring they fail. The task I hoped we would face together as father and son. You 
You can still remarry, start a new family. Yes, I suppose I can. Yeah, good. I don't, not many girls that would not want to be with him. I, I maybe Looks I like imagine. A push. Looks like an yeah. average guy. Let us help you. Don't no trouble yourselves, my lord. Nonsense. You can't do it alone. You're much too kind. The mud is thicker than it looks. That's a heavy. I imagine this is just to show we. It's better that we work together than not. As simple. I mean, this is like probably the most simplest way to say it. We work together, good things can happen. Thank you, my lord. Jogaku is many miles from here. Keep away from the mud and the Mongols. I will. I have no idea what he's talking about. Not here. Follow me. Hmm? What was he saying? I don't have an army. Every oh. day, more people flock to your cause. The Shogun is concerned. I am concerned. Naturally. Have nothing to fear. When the new clans arrive, will people bow to their samurai? Or betray them in the name of the ghost? I won't let them do that. They'll listen you to me. You openly defied me, Jin. My most trusted warrior. You taught our people to disobey their leaders. Makes you think your followers will obey you. Sure, because that's where that whole thing where that guy used Jin's poison to do this, and there are people constantly whispering around us about how he's gonna stop this tax or do this thing, or uh, and it just it defa it contradicts their leaders. Walk with me, Jin, as you wish. Even his kimono is a nice one. Black, oh, pretty. My family cemetery. Symbolic black white. The There's no gray. The of seven generations of Sakai, including your mother and my father. We must pay our respects. Shogun has declared you a traitor. He ordered you to kill me. The ghost was an outlaw. He taught our people to defy their leaders. To defend themselves. With poison? A gift you gave to our enemy? I had to stop you from throwing away our people's lives. You have no honor. And you are a slave to it. You are my son. Now I must continue the line of Shimura without you. I must start a new family. And my head is the cost.
What's that? Write the last words of Clan Sakai. Oh. And Clan Shimura. Fate neither of us want. No death redeem us. will always be with you. Yes, Uncle. I will train you to become the strongest warrior Clan Sakai has ever known. I will raise you as my own son. Are you ready? Ah, oh, this sucks. Shimura is a tough fight. This guy's annoying. I can't feel the sugar. The wounds dealt my spirit. They never heal. Killing me will only make them worse. Let me go in peace. Oh, since I don't have the armor. Since I don't have the armor, I can't do it. I 
I did it flawless too. For once. I died eight times to him the first time. find it better. I always found it better to give him what he wanted because what he said. When you don't, it ends ten... I believe it's worse because at least at the end of killing him, we didn't end it off bad. The other way, for one, the consequences, the Shogun's gonna punish him, he's gonna have to hunt us down, things like that, but I have to give him, at least honor him one time after everything I've done. I will make sure you are remembered as a great warrior, a wise leader, and a father. Thank you, my son. Find me in the next life. I will. Because the other one sucks. He like basically says we're done. It has to because he just it's it's terrible for the uh, other. What is that thing on my back? What in the name of God? Is it? Fallen at my family cemetery. Beautiful. Dawn refuge. What if there's. Okay. I was wondering if there was a uh, way to... I was wondering if there was a way to find his grave, but no. But this is the outfit I'm going to keep. Even in death. Too Jin, bad. I like your new home. It suits you. It will have to do. This is depressing. Sansaka is gone, and I've been branded a traitor. He I is. Your uncle. He killed Sorry. the Jita. He's gone. I did what I had to. What matters is you're alive. You defeated Kotun Khan and left the Mongols without a leader. The mainland is safe. But our home isn't. The Khan's forces are stuck here, more desperate than ever to conquer our island. Then we'd better keep fighting. Just don't forget. Tsushima needs you. I'll never forget that. Good. We'll cover more ground if we split up. Hit the Mongols from all sides. Take back our home. Goodbye, Jin. And take care of yourself. I will. You too, you know. <sighs> I don't know why they just now gave me that mask.
I, I don't. That was weird. For some reason, it did that. It like zoomed in very slowly, but uh, that is the end of Ghost of Tsushima, New Game Plus. Ah, it sucks. It sucks. At the end of the day, I believe that was the right choice. Wait, that's not it. Is it? Oh, a black version of her mask. It's actually kind of clean. But still, that's the end of it. We have done everything. These are for Iki Island, but every side, every... We've done it all, basically. Ah, oh, it is too bad, it is too bad. Always sucks. I actually did cry a bit when uh, the Lord Shimura thing happened, because it's just... Because uh, both sides have their right and wrong to it. But we're going to get into the re review. Uh, first, I guess it costs, it costs nothing for this game. Because if you get PlayStation Plus. But let me check one thing. I'm trying to see how long it is. Uh, let me see. Game. I swear, every time the first one I try doesn't work, then I have to try the second one, and that one works. It says took one day, five hours, and six minutes, but at this time I'm uploading another one so that's probably like that's uh, another hour and this one's like another hour 16 so i'd say one day seven hours like okay no that was terrifying let me get out of here one day Well, it's less terrifying when I'm around people, but it's one day, one day, uh, seven hours, like 30 minutes. And so that would be 24 plus seven, about 34 hours, which sounds about right for how long it takes for the game. Even with me doing everything, 34, I swear the past couple of games have been like that, but 30, the 30 to 40 range, I feel like is what all games should like reach to like i think 50 should be the max any game really needs to be sometimes at least a good chunk of them but besides that yeah uh i always review the game by the end i kind of base it not really on the type of new game plus it is but the game when it comes to new, when i'm not i base it on what i played and i do kind of input when i first played it more because naturally now i didn't pay that much attention to everything because i knew how it would end and what would happen. So, when it comes to it, I always split it up into gameplay, graphics, and story. Those are kind of the three things. There's a lot of things that go into the subcategories of it, but ultimately that's how I uh, split up to tell how a game is. So I'll start at graphics. Graphics are great in this game, all around. Like I've said it, said it like a hundred times, every single area Every single, uh, e even like right now, look at this. This is just pose worthy. Like it, it, this thing is like a picture, a picture heads dream. This game, every angle, every spot, every fight. The poses are great. The setting of all of Tsushima looks beautiful. Graphics are great. All the characters, their little designs and stuff are good, and everything. Uh, I'm trying to even think. Like, I, there's nothing bad to say, which means there's just me saying everything is good. Like, I like how everything looks. Naturally, there's the little bugs and things. Uh, the game never glitched for me, as far as I saw. There's always those little graphical mistakes that happen here or there that I saw. But that's life. No, we'll never have a perfect game, ever. But besides that, uh, even the snowy place was something. Because we went from all this life and stuff to in the end, 
we went to the snowy, icy mountains with nothing, just a lot of snow, which still was pretty good looking in a lot of spots. But yeah, besides that, graphics wise, the setting, all of that, I'd have to say pff, the graphics for this game for me were like, I'm going to have to say like a 9.5. They were very, they were very, very good for me. These graphics, they were too beautiful. Next, I, I'll say gameplay. Gameplay is something. It is very fun. I like it. It's easy to get into. Even when I stopped playing for a few days, I could get back in. Now, gameplay does change based on who you are and what you're playing as. Because of the outfit I had, the um. You know, the Saragami armor. It took away my re the regular parry. And it becomes, you know, the change. And my dodge becomes that. So, when I parried, it always gave me all those hits. Unlike before, where it would matter if you changed all the stances. And stuff. So, for me, it, I did kind of cut that out. But at the end of the day, I played the game the first time through with the regular stances. So, I like gameplay a lot. There's four different enemy types. You use those types of... You use these specific stances, and it helps fight them ten times more for the guys with swords, the brutes, the guys with... What's it called? Uh, spears, and then the guys with shields. Each each type has its own little... I never even really had to go to the upgrade thing. But each type, each stance had its own little things that I did sometimes use, but I really kind of stuck to stone stance. Because I just perfect parry everyone. And then, bam. But they all had their things. Which all were useful. And they all actually did work against the guys. Like, it didn't feel like the game put them in just because. It always felt like each guy was best to... Like, fighting the spear guys with this was best. Fighting the these guys with this was best. Fighting these guys with that was best. So all was good. And even some of the uh, other little things like the mythic things we could do loved them especially getting them the first time around is crazy the dance of wrath the flame and even the um <clears throat> exploration it there was a game there was a, a game ranks video i watched recently that talked about how this is one of the most unique ways to explore ever it made use of the pad thing that they have on the uh x or playstation and it was useful. You use it all the time. It made a use for it. And it was better than having some giant line pop up or some dumb thing. It just told you, hey, it's that way. And you'd look. I know I got lost sometimes and would complain, but at the end of the day, it still was good. Uh, gameplay in general, I just really like it. It's fun. It's crazy. Killing the Mongols is always fun. Uh, terrifying them, using poisons and everything. It felt like I used every... Well, not everything, but it felt like I used everything. Like, I'd use my gadgets and everything up. There were situations that helped with it. I'd use my bow, my longbow, my poison, even this sometimes. You use even buttons on the pad where it's like, you know, that's for the wind. You do that if you want to change the weather up because you don't like the way it looks. That The bowing is probably the only thing you didn't have to do, but it still is a good little thing. And then even the D-pad. Bam. Heal. It felt like nearly every button on this controller was used for something, and you never felt like I didn't touch it, each button, at least every once in a while. I was always calling my horse, you'll heal, you'll do this, this, and that. Everything within the gameplay. Now, I talked about the NPC, or not the NPCs, but... Because that'll be more in story, but... Um, gameplay, just it's just very fun. I, I said it before, it was something that I said in the Star Wars game, sometimes you don't feel like a Jedi... You feel like just some guy with a, with a lightsaber? This, you feel like that guy. You take down 20, 30 guys in a row. They're those guys that give you a little bit of stuff, but at the end of the day, you feel like him. You feel like the Ghost of Tsushima, Jin Sakai. Plain and simple. And when it came to NPCs, or the grunt guys, they were pretty fun to fight, always. Then the uh, bigger battles, like uh, the, this is the lightning guy i'm pretty sure yeah like these little battles where we duel someone specifically and it'd be like we both pull our swords out and everything those are always the fun those are like they're kind of like mini bosses those guys are really fun and then the i don't even know if i call them 
yeah, there were just tons of mini bosses. There were like bigger fights, like with Ryuzo and Masako, and stuff like that. When it came to the game gameplay, that are just all fun. It felt like everyone had their little thing, their way of fighting, their way of doing things, and I just I love the fighting. I love the I love the gameplay in this. It's just endlessly good. Me, I've just kind of perfected it. But even when playing it regularly, it was too much fun. I loved it. I love switching around. Love doing it all. This is just the best armor for if you want to be able to play and fight and like win no matter what. <laughs> and even with the char there's things like the charms and upgrading your sword and your bows and everything that I didn't get too deep into because it is New Game Plus, but still. And even your horse. Ah, R.I.P. But I gotta say for the for the gameplay, a nine just sounds just sounds right for me. And then next would be the story. Now, first thing I want to say, terrible what happened. It's it's tough because the story goes through a lot of. I've talked about it all throughout. It goes through those themes, kind of like the Batman thing of when is too far too far? Who, how, who decides what enemies you do or don't respect? How far? How when does it get to the point that it becomes that slope where you keep going down? And it's like well, like Jin said, he said I'm just doing this because of the Mongols, and it's like. Well, that's not how that works. Because then what if another enemy you feel is just as bad as them? What if there's another one? Who, how, what is your gauge for it? You'll, you're will you telling me that you're going to stop going in the shadows and poisoning people? No, not even if it's just the Mongols or whatever. Any enemy that you kill, you will use these things no matter what. And that's just it. The Mongols broke the samurai in Jin in a lot of ways, in certain ways. But he also gave it up in a lot of ways. He saw what he had to do. He kind of did what I think Batman needs to do sometimes. He saw that he had to do and become something more if he wanted to win. And while I will say it, it's tough to say if he was 100% right. Because who knows 100% if they... I believe they probably would have lost because Kotan Khan was using the samurais against themselves. He was using what he knew about them against them to win. So they had to become something else. But in becoming something else, like it said, like Jin said at the end of the game... They were talking about how there was a, armies of people are like rallying behind Jin, following him. It's turning this place into something else. And it incites things that are not good in certain senses. Like it incites people to think that they can just skirt the rules or forget honor and become butchers and become... He, he does kind of get crazy with it sometimes. He'd be cutting off heads and screaming and all the poisoning is kind of... It is kind of cruel in a certain sense. Even... Even nowadays, we, as like a society, I think poisoning is considered in something we don't use anymore during war because of how bad it was. And it's stuff like that. It's just like, it, it, how far is too far? And I understand that his uncle kind of does have the moral high ground in the sense, but Jin kind of has the, what's it called? What would I say? He has the results high ground. It's just like, I, I, we did it, who cares, and it's just like, the way you did it is wrong, and it'll come back to bite you, which it ultimately did, it did a lot of things, it got a lot of people in trouble, Hell, uh, it, it even caused the Mongols to start using poisons against people, which is just like, oh god, but, yeah, that's just that part of the story, there's the, the main story, Kotun Khan was an okay enough villain, I'd say him personally, we didn't see too, too much of him. We saw a good enough thing, like I'd say compared to like Star Wars or even uh, Dead, Dead Island, where it felt like I never saw the main villain at all. Like I, I, I saw them, like I feel like we saw Dagon five times, like, but we saw Kozen Khan a couple times, cutscenes, not to mention there were other villains, other guys that we personally got, like Ryuzo and... Uh, Ryuzo and stuff, people like that. We had uh, was it side villains? I'd call it. But we just saw a lot of him, and it in it of itself, it's not even 100% Kotun Khan. It's the Mongols, which I think is something that maybe Star Wars could have done a better job trying to make the Empire seem like the bad guys. But you never really felt like it was the Empire doing much. You just just like, eh. But this, you always feel the effects of the Mongols. Everyone talking about it, being affected by it, 
hurt from it, stuff, bad things happening to them because of it. We'd see them hurting people and burning things down and killing, and we always took them down and felt people's pain, which was very good. I hated them. I hate the Mongols. They suck. In this game, at least. So it, it does a very good job at making you just dislike these guys. And even Koten Khan, like, seeing him, every time we saw him, he was on some garbage. He killed Taka in front of us. It's just like, you want to get him. Even Ryuzo, want to get him. And then, when it came to some of the side stories, I like them a lot. The side, the side characters' stories, some of the best I've seen in any game. Because they were important, they had a story that mattered, and besides Ishigawa's thing, I liked them a lot. I liked Ishigawa's through until the very end, which I get. Each of them was about something else, like, I think I said it before, but there's Norio's thing, which shows the side of revenge that can break you. There's his, there's Ishigawa's, which is supposed to be the one showing about forgiveness, and then, and then there's Masako's thing that shows, uh, about, it shows about getting, I'd say hers kind of shows the better side of revenge compared to Norio's. They're all kind of sides of revenge where you can forgive, it can break you, or it can be a part, of, it can be something that you can just grow from. I wish maybe they switched it around or something, because I don't like the fact that Tomoe just gets away with everything. That's that's just me, you know? I, there's a lot of people that agree with me, but yeah. Uh, hmm, I talked about the main story, I talked about those. Those are great. Lots of characters I love. Love everyone. Yuna, great character, great female character. I've talked about how her, Yuna and Masako, that's how you, that's how you write a female. That's how you write a girl. It's, it's, it's that simple. You don't make her, you don't make her overly better or cocky or like, she doesn't belittle the main character, but you keep her strong. Like, there's no problem with a girl being strong, but it's kind of the Hulk situation where Hulk can be strong, She-Hulk can be strong, but for some reason they feel the need to make her always seem like she's better than him in some stupid way, and they made it a competition. But besides that, every character that we talk to, I like a lot. Even Kenji, he's the comic relief guy. Taka, and yeah, Yuna, everyone. It's We learn a lot, see a lot. I like the way her and Jin's friendship works. I like the way just Jin in general is and reacts to people his emotion his relentlessness his drive all of it it's just i, I like the story a lot I like i like all these big side missions a lot the mythic tales are pretty fun little things because i don't i don't know if they actually are in japanese history they might be i feel like one of them i've heard of actually but uh then there's the regular side missions i'd call them they're they're pretty good they're okay there's some that are good there's some that are like the ghost thing where I was like going in the woods and stuff. There's some that are like whatever. And then some that are just, you know, it, it is, it's there for XP. But besides that, even the way the ghost comes to form, all of it, it's just all a lot of good stuff. I can't even think of a real, f I guess I can. There are the little flaws in the story, like maybe some more Kosen Khan, maybe... I don't even know if there's even a way to say more Mongols because they were everywhere. We always felt their effects. There wasn't a single time I'd turn. Maybe um, the little side content stuff, like I didn't love the fox dens. The shrines were cool. Aunt Pillars of Honor, these. I, I think it's really just the shrines I didn't like personally, which a lot of people agreed with. Yeah, that's all I can really think of that I didn't like when it comes to those. And the story, I liked it all. Uh, it's just it's tough to say anything more or review I, I like the game story I might say the story is, is uh, it's tough it's tough because it's certain side stuff and certain little pieces of things that I don't love that throw it down not crazy like it's a it's if you say this story is below a seven you're ridiculous and if you say if you were to say that's a nine I understand I might have to give it an eight point and even his death even Lord Shimmer's death a lot uh, use those death there's just so many things that are so good so done right played out great I'm gonna have to give it an 8.9 for the story which makes it a 27.4 which
makes this a 91 for me definitely i'd say if i was to say like give it a letter grade a to whatever an a plus is like naturally nothing's perfect but calling this a 90 is solid 95 maybe is what i'd say if i was to like really give it if i just had to give it an overall number 95 it was this was my game of the year when this came out last of us one even with everything terrible that was happening around it kind of i'm gonna say that was some bias but hey i'm not gonna get too deep into it but that's that's ghost of tsushima new game plus great game great graphics great story great gameplay great side characters great side content and now we're going on to a pretty great dlc iki island where we journey into Jin's past which is going to be pretty fun. Iki Island's kind of crazy. I like it. I like it too. It's pretty good. but And it'll be its whole own separate thing. But besides that, we're at the end of it. Of it all for Ghost of Tsushima New Game Plus. Whew, we've done everything. It's crazy to think of. It's in the end. And we're still just a month away from Spider-Man. Um, I guess the only thing left to say is I do thank everyone who watched any and all of this. At all. Any part of it for uh, watching and um i appreciate if you like comment subscribe notifications all that stuff and i will see you next time when we head to iki island Whew, jesus it's gonna it's it's kind of it's just crazy there because they're they're tough they're tougher guys even but once again thanks for watching and uh peace i guess